fewer people are out and about because of the stay home order, and it means fewer cars on the road. It also creates less pollution. Abby Dodge is live in Lee Summit with some of the positive changes we've seen. Abby? Yeah, Brad, the breaths we're taking in right now, we're trying not to breathe on anyone around us, but the ones that we, we are taking in are a little bit clearer. With all the sights and sounds of spring, we're also adding in cleaner air. They are seeing uh, global reductions in a variety of air pollutants. Including nitrogen dioxide, which comes from less cars on the road. Caroline Davies is the director of environmental studies at UMKC. She says there's a lot to learn from satellite images. NASA shared these photos of nitrogen dioxide emissions from before and during its strict quarantine. If you're in Beijing, normally they have a very brown red smog in the air and uh, that's gone. It's a haze. That haze is is completely cleared out. Satellite images taken over the first three weeks of March show less nitrogen dioxide over parts of the United States than the same time last year. For all of us out on walks in Kansas City, there might not be a visible difference. I think for this, I'm not sure that you will actually see anything different or feel better air when you're out running or, or jogging. Davies says she hopes having cleaner air in such a short amount of time will send a message to leaders. If there's a bright side to this pandemic is I think we can learn a lot about climate change and how to address it. Because until now, there's been no urgency. The way a pandemic has a whole lot of urgency. Davies says she anticipates air quality will diminish again once motorists get back on the road. 24 states are currently under a stay at home order, keeping people off the roads. Most of the metro cities and counties here in Kansas City are also under lock and key. Live in Lee Summit, Abby Dodge, KC TV 5 News. Thanks, Abby. The Environmental Protection Agency is relaxing the enforcement of laws during the coronavirus pandemic. The agency says it recognizes companies might not be able to meet all federal requirements at this time, but it still expects public water systems to keep their standards. This move does not apply to Superfund and other hazardous and solid waste management. Environmental groups are objecting to this policy change, calling it an open license to pollute.